Hello everybody, welcome back to a very hot, sweaty, rainy, muddy and beautiful part of Sri Lanka. Our adventures continue. I'm going to be sharing with you a very, very interesting day. But we'll rewind in a moment and start from the beginning. If you're coming to Sri Lanka, you're going to want to come here. These are the Knuckles. They're a mountain range with unique fauna, endangered, one-of-a-kind types of animals that we have been lucky enough to see. And it's just been a mad adventure. This video is also a sponsored video because I was given some shoes to review by Nautive 8 and they said go test them out, have an adventure in them and if you think they're good, make a video about them. And I've been testing them today and I'll talk about them at the end of the video because I'm blown away. They're cheap, they're incredible, they do exactly what they said they would do, which is unlock adventure and stay waterproof and they've given me a real beautiful day out here in the Knuckles. So sit down learn about the knuckles, learn about the tour. I'll put you in touch with the best guide. I've made some friends as well. And I'll, sh sh I'll share all in this video. So sit down, get a cup of tea, and let's begin. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the beautiful central highlands of Sri Lanka. If you saw in the previous video, we had loads of adventures on our electric tuk-tuk over the past few days. Well, today the good news is that we are getting really involved. We're going on a 15 kilometer hike with a couple of other backpackers and a local guide. Now this little homestay slash Airbnb called the Pepper Cottage put us in touch with a local guide called VJ. And he came over yesterday and talked us through and we had a lovely dinner together here in the house and they've laid out lunch, they've laid out breakfast for us. It's nice and early and we're going to get our walking boots on and go for a 15 kilometer hike through some of the most beautiful mountain ranges of Sri Lanka. The weather's beautiful, but that might change, you know, it's been changing quite often during the days here and we've had storms and we've had rain, so God knows what's going to happen. Even though our accommodation was on the fringe of the mountains themselves, it still took us over an hour to get to the start of the trail. This part of Sri Lanka is very remote, incredibly beautiful, and I really recommend that you come to this area of the country. Get away from the crowds and experience a side of Sri Lanka that not everybody gets to see. If at any point during this video you start thinking this is for me and I want to get involved, don't worry, all of the details about today's adventure is linked below. Okay, we've begun after a lovely drive up into the edge of the range. And we're just leaving the last little village. Lots of goat houses and uh, the beginning of the trail. And from this point on, it should get pretty wild. And we've got such a beautiful day. I'm really excited to share with you this hike. So let's go. See you. we saw a beautiful little green lizard running across the laundry and now there's a, another little colourful thing bright orange head green and black stripes or something he's doing his best to act cool <laughs> but I've spotted you mate I've spotted you So VJ, our guide, is very worried about leeches. So he's supplied special leech socks. And we've got long white socks on, so I should be okay. And uh, then he's mixed Dettol, 
with water to make a, a paste, basically, like a liquid that apparently the leeches hate. And so when we're walking through, if the leeches wants to grab onto us and start crawling up our legs, um, they should be put off by that smell. First part of the hike is uh, uphill and it's hot. And uh, he wasn't lying about the leeches. They're crawling all over the trail. I must have seen about three or four. They're not dangerous. They don't cause you any harm. It's just probably annoying. Let me just check, I haven't got any on me. Okay, so far, so good. And uh, there's the village down there that we started from. And once we get up here, we'll be in a more shaded forest here zone. So, so far so good, so far so hot. <laughs> this is like the mossy forest that you get all over Southeast Asia, I'm learning, at around this altitude. The morning mist, and the rain up here helps manifest this moss to just grow up the roots of the trees all the way up the bark. And it's just incredible. Saw it in the Philippines, saw it in Borneo, and now we're seeing it here in Sri Lanka. And they have it in Thailand too, at the top of Doi Intanon. That's just about the altitude that this all grows. I mean, I know it just looks like moss, but it really is sunny. At this altitude, in this particular part of these particular mountains, that a very special, very rare lizard lives. It's called the leaf nose lizard. Its nose is shaped like a leaf. And I think it just stays there. I'm just a leaf. And then a bug lands on its nose and it eats it. <laughs> so we're gonna keep our eyes out because if we can film one, if I can show you what it looks like, that is a huge accomplishment <laughs> because yeah, it only lives in this forest, in this uh, mountain range. So yeah, let's get our fingers crossed for a leaf nose lizard encounter. Oh, one more thing. The two people that I'm hiking with, by the way, they're from Austria and they study forestry. They're at university studying forestry. So they're, they're buzzing because they've never been to Asia before. All these plants, all these mosses, every tree, every species. This is the first time they've ever seen them. So they're just buzzing. They're just like loving life, which is really cool to see wide eye excitement. Cause I've been in Asia now for 15 years and you know, things start to become normal, don't they? I remember when I went to Europe, Italy, Switzerland and the UK, I was like, wow, a nettle. <laughs> wow, a dandelion. <laughs> Stuff that had just become reverse culture shock for me in terms of plants. But uh, as far as forest goes, this one's magical. And our guide, VJ, he's just letting them know species names, plant names, how they grow. And they're like loving it, which is really cool. Are they bigger normally? Is that a small one? 
Is that small or is it? That's a normal size. Wow. Good spot. How lucky that it's right there on the side. Last time it was like somewhere, somewhere in the deep. well and truly in the shaded forest now and the sky has gone grey there's a cool brisk fresh air and breeze blowing through because we were sweating before now I kind of feel a little bit chilly so I've got my rain jacket and they they say that these mountains the weather changes on a dime so anyway we're off to a, a waterfall following this stream Along these rocks, apparently there's a little waterfall. <laughs> wow. Look at the way that the clouds are rushing up the side of that mountain. I've never seen anything like that before. Unique lizards, beautiful bugs and creepy crawlies all around us. Moss forest, clouds rushing over you while you're walking across a waterfall. Come to the knuckles. love nature as much as me guys there's just something isn't there about being in the green being out in nature don't get me wrong I love big cities like Bangkok and all all big cities around the world they're all vibrant places I love city life but this is definitely my happy place just me and you guys a guide some new friends in a beautiful beautiful country Ready? I see you. We're going up that mountain, the second highest in this mountain range. But we can't quite see the summit yet. Right, so VJ wasn't lying because the leeches have come out and we have our first victim. <laughs> I stopped to tie my shoe and I saw a leech. 
He was working his way up my heel. Cheeky little fella. Not this time though. <laughs> We've been going now six hours and now we climb the mountain. That one. And it's, it's pretty big. Surely this is gonna take a couple of hours. It's half past one and we've yet to have lunch. And we're about to climb a mountain. So they just keep walking ahead of me because I'm slow and I'm hungry. <laughs> and that looks steep. And it's getting to that point of the hike, you know, we've all been there. It's fun, it's epic, and then you get hungry and then you get miserable. That's the stage I'm at right now. Okay. Bit more energy. Let's go. It's raining and very steep and it's windy as hell. It's quite difficult hike. I wasn't really expecting a, a summit climb today. Okay, I'll stop whining. Let's go. Up here. Oh dear. Okay. They don't like that. Ew. The leeches finally got me. <laughs> and they got me good. <laughs> Almost at the summit. You guys are just getting lunch and there's leeches everywhere. And uh, <laughs> just filming them all over our legs, all over our bags. And I put my hand in my pocket in my little coat pocket like that. And as I put my hand in my pocket, Elise just got on me. Like it was in my pocket. <laughs> so just bear that in mind. If you're squeamish with leeches, I mean, they don't hurt and they're not poisonous and they, there's nothing wrong with them. In fact, we use them in modern medicine. We use them in hospitals to help heal wounds and remove blood from difficult places. But yeah, I know it can be a little bit squirmish for some people. So if you come into the knuckles, I think you're going to get guaranteed leech action. So this is the summit of Leech Mountain. I've just decided to call it that. Um, and we're gonna wait a little bit, five minutes, see if this cloud blows away and, and we can see the view. Um, if not, then we're just gonna eat some cookies and flick leeches off our bags and our legs and our ankles. <laughs> we're playing a game. VJ says that there's a lizard right in front of us. Look, maybe maximum one meter or two meter, and that's the area you can see. Yes, we're staring at it, and this we've got six eyes between us three. Yes, just and only we... maybe three meters, and between one and a half meter. That's area you can see. Right, you can join in. See if you okay. can see a lizard. Can you see this wine and this? What is it? It's come. Ah, it's come forward. Can you see? There. Found him.
Okay, we made it. We made it to the bottom of the trailhead. And I think we just have to walk to the village now and get picked up. What time is it? It feels really late. Okay, it's 20 to five. And we started, we left this morning at half seven. It was a big day, big day. Oh. Is that the end or is there more? This is normally in placing, but this part, the road is not good. Uh -huh. The vehicle can't come no up. No problem, no problem. We have to walk one, one and a half kilometer. Oh, and cheeky, cheeky monkey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're nearly there. No, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Did you have fun? Yes, a lot. Good. You see the roof? I attracted. Oh. That's where we started. And that was the peak. Cool. Over here down. So how many kilometers did we do? Uh, Does it say? Check, yes. Um, this is a cool app. It's called Strava. It's 13.5 kilometers. 13.5. Mm -hmm. So we still have another yes, one point. One and a half, yes. Hey, he said it was going to be 15. Yeah. That's a cool app. Yeah. Strava. Strava. It's like the social media for sporty people, I think. Yeah, that's... Wow. I should uh, contact them and say, sponsor me. <laughs> okay. Last little bit. Uh, I think I've deserved a beer. We can stop for some beer on the way back. <laughs> Okay, we've made it back. Fantastic, fantastic day. And we're gonna drive back to town, pick up some beers, have a dinner back at our guest house, watch the football together, and just celebrate a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It wasn't a massive, crazy adventure. We were just in the mountains, and I'll be back in the tuk-tuk in the next episode. I'm gonna drop the guys off into Candy, so I'll be a little, I'll be there transport. Um, that'll be fun. I've got loads of scary, scary, scary things coming up. I'm going to be conquering my fear of heights in the most extreme way possible. Finally, just want to say that the shoes stood up. They were incredible and I highly recommend them. I just took off my shoe to check for leeches and my socks are clean, my socks are dry and everything above <laughs> the shoe line covered in blood and sweat and dirt. So I highly recommend Nautivate. I will link the exact pair that I'm wearing in the description. They've got a few different colorways. And this is the one that I chose to test out. They just said, test them and see how you go. And I can highly recommend them. No rubbing, very soft, cushioned, supportive. This is the Armadillo 2. So the brand new upgraded version of their previous Armadillo 1. It has tougher suede uppers. And as you've seen, the materials here are just so much better, so much more supportive you've got the tougher suede upper the improved arch support a sturdy protective toe cap but of course the most important thing that we tested today and saw the water resistance and the material that the shoes have really protected us against the elements and most importantly we kept our feet dry even in all the mud and all the water that we were experiencing today but now we'll be taking them to south america patagonia and uh, even maybe into antarctica probably as well anyway Love you long time, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers. Can you help me some more? It's okay. Thank you.